am completely for you being my provider and my protector. Yeah, for sure. But let me tell you what I'm not okay with. I'm not okay with you being my provider and protector at the expense of your abuse. Meaning that some women will stay in stuff and you will say that he's a good man because he provides and protects. Maybe you don't <laughs> beat on me, but if you are emotionally no good for me, if you are emotionally unavailable, just because you provide and you protect, though if provision looks like a whole lot more than just money, but if I never got to this place in my singleness, if I did not learn how to provide for myself in my singleness, yeah. that when I get with somebody that can provide for me financially, I stop it there, never realizing that I'm a three-part being, spirit, soul, and body. Yeah. I need you to provide for me way more than just some money. Yeah. But I never tapped into it. Yeah. So now I'm impressed with something yeah. that really should just be the standard. Yeah. What's going on, beautiful people? I pray that you guys are blessed and highly favored. Listen, beat up your blood clutch. Yes. If you have not yet subscribed, click the subscribe button and let's get into this video. Listen, this woman preached a whole sermon in a few seconds on this video. When I heard this, I listened to this over 15 times. I'm not even lying. I just kept listening to it over and over and over again because what she spoke was gold. And I can tell she'd been through something because sometimes you cannot get to this conclusion until you've been through some stuff. And what she said is, I will not settle for you providing for me financially on the backbones of my emotions, my mental health, my heart, my life. I just won't do it. Over my well-being, I just won't do it. And here's the thing, and me included, I'm guilty of this, where we find ourselves in situations where the per where the person is providing for some of our needs, but not all of our needs. And there's a very, very subtle but key point that she said. She said she had to get to a place where she took care of herself in a way that when she did get herself in a relationship, she knew what she required. And sometimes we are in relationships, but we do not know what it takes to take care of us. We are mind, we are body, we are spirit, we are emotions, we are so much things. And until we are attentive and aware of what we are and our needs, what we will do is we will accept Tim, Tom, and Harry BS. And we will die in a relationship that is not fulfilling us as a whole being, right? But here's the thing. We will get to a place where we are pointing fingers at that person, but you, I, we are responsible for what we need and what we require. And until we get to a point where we know what we need and what we require, we cannot put that demand on anyone else, right? And when we find someone who is a potential, we have to ensure that this person is capable of meeting those needs, right? Our mental needs, are they safe? Are we safe with them mentally? Are you safe? Are you safe for them emotionally? Is that person in tune with their own emotions? And do they have emotional awareness and intelligence to guide you through difficulties when it is necessary? Because we're not perfect. We are all vulnerable. We all need help sometimes. Financially, how is this person? How are you financially, sir? Ma'am? Right? How are you? Socially? Right? Will this person try to take me away from my family and my friends or will they embrace the life that they saw me in before we became what we were and what what we find ourselves is that we find ourselves in relationships and marriages where the person will marry to us and then try to remove us and change us and the question is did you not know that I dressed like this? Did you not know that I spoke like this? Did Were you not aware of my family and friends? So why is it that now we are married, you are trying to, to force me to dress a certain way, force me to talk away a certain way, force me to look a certain way, force me to stay away from my friends and my family? What is this? You know, what is this? You married into my life, not to remove me from anyone, right? That is for God and for me to decide. 
right? And if we are wise and we have common sense, yes, willingly we will remove ourselves from people who are not, you know, adding to us, you know, who is taken away from us. But we are willing to do this with mothers, with friends, with siblings, but we find ourselves in relationships with people who is doing the most and we will not remove ourselves from them for relationship sake, for religion sake, for culture sake. But one thing I love what this woman said, she said, not on the backbone of my health, not on the backbone of, of my, my well-being, no way. And I can tell she's a secure woman because it takes... It takes something, unless you were raised a certain way, or you seen a certain woman, it takes a particular experience for you to get to a place where you are so sure of yourself and you say, hell no, not on the backbone of my heart, not on the backbone of my mind, my emotion, my life. Would you think you're going to provide for me the bare minimum and I'm going to stick around? with your BS. No way. And so I hope that this reached the audience that it should reach. So help me to do that by sharing this to a sister, a friend, a brother to let us know, listen, your whole well-being is not worth someone's neglect, someone's abuse, someone's disadvantage, disrespect, dishonor of you. No way. A marriage, a relationship should be two people serving each other, pouring into each other, loving each other, respecting each other, honoring, honoring, honoring. And we found ourselves in a place where we are in relationships where there's no patience, there's no respect, there's no honor, there's no dignity. It's war. And I am encouraging you to get to a place where you say, no, I'd rather be comfortable in my singleness, in my peacefulness, than to claim marriage and claim relationships that is no peace, no love, no patience, no compassion, no kindness, no respect. Please comment below, subscribe, and become a part of the family. God bless.